Well, now to the night's other big story. This is the best picture that we have of what's believed to be a man carrying collectibles from Time Capsule Toys in downtown Girard. Police are assuming it's the same man who burglarized now sports cards and collectibles a week ago today. Earlier tonight, I met with the owner of the store in Girard who placed the value of what was stolen at $4,000. Another collectibles theft. It is new at 10. Rick Fusselman is owner of Time Capsule Toys in Girard. This evening he showed me how his store was robbed, basing it partly on surveillance video showing a man crossing West Liberty Street at 3.40 this morning. We assume he took a hammer to it because of the way the impact hole and the way it spiderwebbed was he kept hitting it in the same spot until it finally broke and fell through. Inside, Fusselman showed me the cases from where items were stolen. But like right here was our vintage Star Wars figures. So he took like every single one I and mean, they were like double stacked. So he took probably about seven or eight. Then the burglar went to the case with WWF Hasbros where there were only a couple still left. There was probably about over two, close to or if not over $2,000 worth of WWF Hasbros. On his way out, the burglar grabbed a three foot tall boxed Power Ranger that was sitting on a shelf. The surveillance video then shows him exiting the store the same way he entered, this time carrying the stolen items. We're looking at about $4,000 worth of inventory. This is video from last Thursday at Niles Sports Cards and Collectibles, where a man broke in and stole various items. He was in the Niles store five minutes and the Gerard store seven minutes. Police are working on the theory that it's the same man. He knew what he was coming in for. Fusselman assumes he was recently in the store and cased it. Fusselman says because of how specialized the items are, the thief will have trouble selling them. Then what's the motive? Collectibles right now are very hot, like very hot. Anything from vintage to cards to shirts and stuff like that. Vintage is super hot right now. Fusselman thinks eventually whoever is doing this will make a mistake and get caught. If by chance you have an idea who the man is in the videos, called Gerard Police.